Guys, in this video, we're going over how to earn money as a footballer, whether it's for teams, for trips, or for whatever else equipment. Um, because you, at the moment, don't have the money for these things, there's usually more options and possibilities than you think, and I'm going to be going over a few of them today in this video. That's coming up next. This video is sponsored by Rucket Sports, where you can get 15% off of their line of soccer products by clicking on the link down below. Rucket Sports sells a variety of soccer goals of all sizes and for all ages, along with other training equipment like rebounders to help you improve your game. They are not only great for team training, but for your own individual training as well. I personally use their products during my own training sessions, and I love them. Click on the link down below to check them out for yourself. Let's get into the video. What's up guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer, where we are releasing weekly football videos to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content that we release. Now, a lot of players come to me telling me that they don't have the money or their parents won't pay for certain things and so they're stuck and they just pretty much give up and use that as an excuse. So in today's video, I wanna give you some ideas that can help you create money or make money yourself so that you can pay for the teams, you can get the cleats you need, you can go on the trips, the open tryouts, whatever it is. And so instead of coming from this area or this, this mindset of, oh, I can't do it because someone else can't pay for it or I, I can't think of a possible way to make money, I'm gonna give you some ideas that are gonna help you make money. And if you put in the work, you will 100% be able to earn money doing these things. Okay, so this first one is probably gonna be the easiest for a lot of you and it's get into coaching. No, I'm not talking about taking a youth team and actually being a coach around 11 v 11 team. I'm talking about doing individual and group training sessions with kids or with players who are younger than you. Now, of course, you need to know what you're doing if you're going to do this. Don't just do this if you have no idea how to train people and coach them and, and make them better. Obviously, when it comes to this kind of thing, you need to get your clients' results. But if you're at a good high school level, on a good club team, at the collegiate level, you can earn money 1v1 coaching kids or 1v or group coaching kids or other players. This is what a lot of people do. You can even look at certain YouTubers. Sheldon Tweedy, as he's going for a professional contract, earns money doing this. He also does a lot of other things to hustle in order to earn money for him traveling the world pursuing a pro contract. But you can see he's not making any excuses. He's actually earning money. But this is a great way to do it. If you think you're good enough, um, you can set this up where in your local area or in another way, um, you can do 1v1 coaching, you can do group coaching sessions, and actually, if you're good at this or get good at this, this can make you a good amount of money that would be able to pay for you to maybe pursue that pro contract, pay for your team that you're trying to get on, pay for the equipment that you need in order to continue training in the way that you want. This is probably personally my favorite that's gonna be on this list because it's the easiest for you because it's already football relevant. Um, and I wanna keep as many of these football relevant if I, as much as I can, although I will deviate away from it um, to other money making ideas that can help you. But this will probably be the best one because you're more involved in football while doing this and you already should have a knowledge of football and how to train and get better. You can use even the things you find on this channel that help players improve or other channels and put them into these training sessions with the 1v1 or group sessions that you do. Okay, so second thing, and this is one I found recently in a video, which I will link down below, and you'll want to go watch that video to understand this, but it's reselling cleats. And it's another YouTuber who had this really genius idea, and he's been doing it for a while, to buy used cleats, but return them um, using a system where you get the full value of the cleats. And he said, you know, you can make, you know, so much money in just a weekend of doing this. And it's, again, involving something that's football related. So if you have a knowledge of different football cleats, this is something you can do. And even if you don't have knowledge of different football cleats, you can learn it. And again, it will be football related. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail with this one because this is not something I've actually personally done, but I've watched his video on it and I've seen him do it. And it's um, it really is very, very clever. So I'm gonna link that down below. And that's another great option. Again, just hustling, buying and reselling in, a, in an area that you already know at least a little bit um, something about. And if you follow his tips in this video, I guarantee you're gonna make a good deal of money um, doing that. And again, that'll pay for your trips, that'll pay for your teams or whatever else. And that's a great way to do it. So I will leave that linked down below. Third way, and this is a way um, that I used to earn money 
um, for things that I wanted or football related things when I was a kid and it's refereeing. This is actually a fantastic way to earn money. Now some of you in certain countries may not have this opportunity but for those of you especially in America this is going to be a fantastic opportunity for you and I think you can do it at as young as like 13 or 14 years old and you just have to pass this very easy test to become a referee. It's actually quite embarrassing how easy the test is. It's if you know anything about football you'll be able to pass and almost no one fails it so don't worry about that. But refereeing can earn you so much money. I remember some weekends I'd make four to five hundred dollars over the weekend refereeing like six games um, combined through Saturday and Sunday. And if you already have a knowledge of the game and the rules, um, this is going to be something that's simple, super simple for you. Now be warned, um, one of the bad things about this is you're going to get a lot of criticism. You're going to have parents screaming at you and it's especially annoying when it's obviously parents who have no idea what they're talking about. I once had a parent when there was a handball committed yell offside, that's offside, um, when that wasn't even relevant to the situation. So you will get that and you will get the odd coach who's kind of, you know, being a jerk to you. But if you can put up with that, and you probably could, uh, you can earn a lot of money doing that. And again, this can go towards many different things. I used to buy new cleats with the money I, I got from this. I would buy jerseys, I'd put it towards team things um, or events that were football related. And so this is one of my favorite ways as a, when you're younger to earn money that's involved around football. Um, but that's definitely something to look out for. So see if there's like a local refereeing association in your area. And really, I can't recommend this enough. It's super easy way to make money if you're into football um, and you do have to sacrifice some time on the weekends, but again, you can make $400, $500 sometimes doing this, uh, which when you're 13, 14, 15 is amazing. Okay, so those are the first three, and those are ones that are actually related to football that are gonna help you earn money for your football career, the things you need to do, pursuing pro, you know, whatever it is. Now I'm gonna give you a few other things that may not be related to football, but are things you can do to earn money. Um, again, there's always really things to do, and so we're gonna go through this quickly, and then you can kind of look up each one of these things, the one that sounds good for you, in more detail. So first one really quick is reselling stuff um, that's outside of football. If any of you are familiar with Gary Vee, he loves this challenge where he challenges people to go pretty much to garage sales or other places, buy things for cheap, and then sell them on eBay. Now, I will leave a link down below in the description that goes over a video of him kind of going over this in more detail, um, but this is a great way, and essentially, the more work you put into this, the more you can earn, and people have made thousands of dollars doing this. People have been able to make like over $1,000 more a month from doing things like this, and again, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, but this is another great way if you're willing to put in the work. Uh, no excuses, you can earn money doing this. So link down below. Another thing you can do is what's called freelancing. And this is something that I used to do a while back, but if you have a certain skill, like you're good at editing, you're good at um, graphic design, or something of that nature, you can actually sell your services online on a website like Upwork or Fiverr, where you can earn money, gain clients through the website. It kind of does a lot of the work for you. You just kind of look up a YouTube tutorial on how to set up on there, and you can start earning money you know, doing a skill that you already have. And if you don't have a skill right now, you can start developing one and start earning money on one of these sites. Again, you may even have a skill you don't even realize that you have that someone is willing to pay for and you can actually advertise on these sites and get clients. And I personally, um, in the past, have made thousands of dollars doing stuff like that. So it is 100% possible. So that's something to look into more as well. And it's called freelancing. And the obvious last one for those of you who are able to is to get a job. Now, I personally am not a fan of this one, uh, funnily enough, but if you have no other options, which it's not true, you have all these other options, go through all these other things first before you go to this one, but you can get a retail job. You can get a job in the summer and save up. Um, again, like there's so much that you can do, but those other ones I gave you, the first five, especially those first three, really look into those things. And what I'm trying to really convey with this video is there's really no excuse. If there's a team you need to pay for, you can find a way to pay for it for 99% of you. Um, if there is like, you wanna get new cleats and your parents can't afford it, find a way to to make money online. There are even people in the Simply Soccer community that have done this. Like I knew someone in the Simply Soccer community who uh, started making money on Instagram by helping people run their pages. Like there's a million and one things you can do in this day and age because of social media and other things. So find a way to do it. I've given you five, I think six options here that are all gonna be great if you actually put the time and effort into them. And yes, it's gonna take effort on your part. No one's gonna just hand you the money for your team or for whatever. Um, so you will have to put in some effort, do some research, all this kind of stuff. 
but you will absolutely start to earn money and be able to towards your football career, towards pursuing that pro contract, whatever it is, if you actually put in the energy and time into one of these things. All right, guys, so I hope that has been helpful. Again, I just don't want you using excuses when it comes to pursuing what you want to pursue. Don't let anyone hold you back and take responsibility for your dream or whatever it is you're going for. Um, and don't let anyone else say that you can or cannot. And one way to take responsibility is finding ways to earn the money that you need to earn in order to go after that pro contract, to get into that collegiate team, to play for that club team that may cost like $1,000 a year. Yeah, maybe that's unfair. Maybe they shouldn't cost that much, but that is the reality. They do. And so if you want to play for them, you got to be able to earn the money to do it. And you absolutely can. Hope this video has been good for you guys. And you can get a look in the description for those links so you can find out more information on some of these things. Uh, make sure you hit the other video I put up on screen so you can continue to learn, improve your game, all that fun stuff. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, Simply Soccer Pro. We'll come across the screen now and I will see you in the next video.